Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my loneliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate our faith, let us be ever mindful of God's mercy and our need for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who arrange all things according to a wonderful design, graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our country, that through the wisdom of its leaders and the integrity of its citizens, harmony and justice may be assured, and lasting prosperity come with peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await a new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace, and consider the patience of the Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into error of the unprincipled and to fall from your own stability, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every, every age, O Lord, you have been, been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every, every age, age, O Lord, Lord you have been, been our refuge. refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, 
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every every age, age, O Lord, Lord, you have been our our refuge. refuge. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this gospel passage, Jesus is certainly not telling us that we should separate our faith from our civic duties. In fact, it's just the opposite. Jesus is encouraging us to bring our faith, every aspect of our faith, into the public forum. And therefore, when Jesus takes to task the people who bring him this question, He implies that we live in a world where we need civic leadership. We need to live in a state of peace and justice. And so, therefore, each one of us plays a certain part in bringing that about. We bring our faith to the voting booth. We bring our faith into our communities. We are to be people who act with justice toward one another. And that's why today we're celebrating this votive mass for the nation, our state too, in order that we might have peace in our world, in order that there might be justice, that we, each one of us in our own way, can further the justice that belongs to every person. And so as we gather Let us be ever mindful of Jesus' teaching that we do owe to Caesar certain aspects of our life, but those aspects are always flavored, are always colored by our faith. And so we ask God to shed the grace of wisdom upon our life in and through the spirit that we have celebrated just this past weekend, the spirit of Jesus Pentecost. And so let us pray. For all of us and for all people throughout the world that we may be more and more conscious of one another and our responsibilities that we have toward one another, toward furthering the well-being of all men and women, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our nation, that from this turmoil and distress, we may grow and become more and more a just nation, a nation of peace that is built upon justice for all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who are ill at this time, those who are experiencing distress, 
those who are in need of prayers for the hungry, the poor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are dying and those who have died, that God may welcome them to eternal life forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we place before you this day all of our needs, conscious that you will bring them to fulfillment, as always, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Howard, our Bishop Emeritus, the clergy, religious, and all who minister in the name of the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words.
Let us pray. Govern by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And have a nice day.